everybody! So today I'm filming my first favourites video in about two months. I didn't film a September favourites which I'm kind of annoyed at myself about because I filmed a favourites video every single month apart from that one but I did do a blog post on that so if you want to go and read that and see my favourites from that month then I will link that down below. But today I'm back with an October favourites and I am actually repeating some of my September favourites just because I feel like I haven't mentioned them even though I have on my blog but I feel like I've got separate followers on my blog than I do on my channel. Also, just to let you know, a little update, I'm going on holiday literally tomorrow as I'm filming this, which will probably be the day that you're watching this video. So I'm not gonna be uploading throughout the whole of the week. Probably my next video will be next Monday. So I'm gonna have a little break. I'm literally, there's gonna be no Wi-Fi on the holiday I'm going to, I think. So it's gonna be really kind of a nice detoxing break from the internet, which I think is gonna be quite nice. It'll mean that I'll be doing different things and I am vlogging the whole week. So the vlog from that week will go up next Monday. Um, and that's basically the update. So let's get into the video. And just a little side note before I start, the reason why I've got a Christmas scrunchie in my hair is because I want to and I feel like it. I'm not feeling Christmassy. I just, oh, actually I am a little bit feeling Christmassy, but I just really wanna put this in. So there we go. So I first of all thought I'd start off this video by mentioning a few things that I've literally just bought about 10 minutes ago. I went to Boots. They're not my favourites yet, but I just wanted to mention them really quickly because I didn't know where else I'd mention them and I like to talk about stuff I've bought. So the first thing I got was this floral so body spray thing and I absolutely love these. So this is definitely a favourite in terms of the range of these, but I haven't actually tried this scent before. I picked up the Natural Collection Liquid Concealer and this is in the shade Fair. And I haven't actually tried a liquid concealer from them before. I think I did when it was in their old packaging like a few years ago. So I'm interested to see if that's pretty decent. My skin's been a lot better recently and I think the better your skin is, the better your skin will react to really awful products. So hopefully it will be okay. And then finally I got the Natural Collection Brow Pencil. It's got like a little brush on one side and then it's got a pencil on the other side for you to sharpen. I've really been enjoying brow pencils recently and I've just run out of my Maybelline one. So those are the bits that I picked up this morning. Now in terms of makeup favourites, I do have a couple three. The first one is this Makeup Revolution liquid lipstick. I did actually get this in a lip kit and this one's in the shade Noble. I have mentioned this so many times but I love it. It's on my lips now. Sorry, I can't talk without showing. And I, I think it's just the perfect kind of nudie brown colour. Like it's not too out there and it's kind of like something that you would wear if you're not that confident wearing bold lipsticks. It's nice nudie brown kind of subtly getting in there. Obviously it's a matte look liquid lipstick. It does stay really well though on my lips anyway. Um, it stays throughout me eating things, drinking things, all that kind of thing. But I, I know there's a lot of people out there that makeup doesn't really stay on their face because they're forever touching their face and like rubbing their lips and stuff. But if you don't touch it, it will stay there with this lipstick. So yeah, really liking that. My next favourite is this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Extra Black Mascara. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I really like the applicator. And it looks like this, it's a brush applicator. And when I apply it, I literally love it. Like I, I literally hate doing mascara, but I really enjoy it when I'm doing this. Recently, I've been going for kind of two coats of mascara on my lashes. Usually I would do one because I just can't be bothered to do mascara. But with this, I like to do two because it really does make your lashes volumized so much. And that's what I like about this. It's not the most lengthening, but in terms of volume, it's really good. So I thought I'd throw that in there really, really quickly. Finally, again, oh my God, I've mentioned this so much like over my channel life, um, if you've been watching me for ages, but this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter. Sorry, my face is like killing this. Um, and it's a, basically a shimmery kind of, well, the shade is called Pink Shimmer and it's really nice. As I've used it more, the, the more pigmented it's actually got, as you can see, it adds a really nice shimmer to your hand. I can't really show you because of how strongly, you know, the light is that's coming on to me right now. But yeah, 
love this and I would recommend getting them because they're only three pounds but they're really really good and I just like highlight certain areas of my face you can kind of see my highlight here um it's not too like blinding but if you want it to be blinding you can make it blinding the next few bits are actually skincare things so I'm gonna go straight in there recently I got this moisturizer from Tesco and this is actually the daily moisturizer with cucumber extract and I love this it was I think it was actually a pound and it's so good it's their own range and it's got vitamin E in it. Literally, the cucumber is what sells this product to me because I love the smell. It smells like you're putting a face mask on. It smells like skincare. You know, when you put skincare on your face, when you're treating your face, you want to smell as if it is a skincare product that's doing some good. And literally, I get so excited to put this moisturizer on. It's not a thick moisturizer but it's not a runny moisturizer it's kind of the perfect in between one it adds moisture to my face but i put this on my skin before putting makeup on and throughout the day my skin does get oily but it actually doesn't get any oilier than if i didn't put this on so i know that some moisturizers can make your skin super super oily if you put it on before foundation but this doesn't so winner winner anyway um then i picked up this picked up my next favorite is this and it is the quick fix facial anti-blemish mud mask and it's for oily and spot prone skin my skin is definitely oily and i think having oily skin can often like bring in the spots as well um but i would say my skin's all right for spots like nowadays but this is brilliant it's proper mud let me try and well i say proper mud it's it's clay basically and it sets on your face and um, makes your skin feel really tight but when I take this off my skin feels so soft I love it like I just love it and the smell of this mm, smells really nice I know it probably wouldn't be to everyone's taste but to mine it is it says on the corner up to 10 like facials but I'm not gonna lie to you I've used this about three times already or well actually Aubrey's used this twice so about five times and there's so much in here. Like this is gonna last me a hundred times, no joke. I've had one of these before, but in an orange bottle and it was um, a cream consistency and I've used it well over a hundred times and it says 10 facials and it really does work well even if you just put a small amount on. So yeah, very, very good. And then I wanted to mention the Carbon Cocoa Spearmint Activated Charcoal Toothpaste love the packaging of this they did actually send this to me for free to do a review on ages ago if you haven't seen that video then you can go and check it out but i love this toothpaste and the reason why i like using it is because it is completely black and you might think it's a bit weird to use that it's black you might think it might taste a bit weird somebody did comment in the comments to that video oh i bet that tastes awful no it tastes exactly like normal toothpaste it tastes of mint it is a very very nice product um so yeah really liked using that now i didn't really have a food favorite but i wanted to throw these in there i did a video on the thin tea detox teas a while back um for them because they sent me them for free and i just thought that it's been a few months since i first used them so i would talk about whether they worked the first one i used was this one and this was the fat burn blend there's still half the amount of stuff in it and i've used it for 14 days so it's you know there's a lot of stuff in there i would say this would last me 28 days um this one is my favorite one well i would say this one you can really taste the mint in it but it, it does work, like it makes me want, like I'll have a cup of tea in the morning and then throughout the day I will make so many more better choices of food because I've had this and it's not necessarily because my, my body wants healthier foods, it's because psychologically I know I've had this so I want to eat healthier and that works for me. I did actually lose four pounds, I put three up, four pounds when I was using this and i don't know whether it's related or whether it's related to the fact that i've been i was eating a little bit better and i was doing a workout every single day and i was using this but the combination of all three was very good um and the green one there's more in this because it's not as good in fact i would go as far to say i don't like the taste of this one um it's got fennel in it and i don't like fennel and that flavor really does come through but i do force myself to use it when i was drinking this tea i didn't notice any weight loss at all so i would say if you're gonna do it for weight loss then go for this one um also there's no laxatives in them before i go into that like there's a lot of people thinking there's laxatives in tea and stuff yes but not in this one so you don't have to worry about that it's all good i've used this for like 
months and months, I'd say two months and a half, and I've been fine. Finally, for a tangible product, I have a chessboard, which is actually this here. And I've loved playing drafts, so not chess, drafts. Um, I've loved playing dra drafts recently with my dad. When we first started playing it, we played it completely wrong. And we are like, hang on, this doesn't work. It's not gonna work out. So we looked at the instructions and we played it completely wrong. But anyway, I love it, it's really good. Um, it, I, let, I like any game that gets you thinking about things, gets you kind of thinking ahead. I really like that kind of thing. Like I love games like Brain Master and things like that because I don't know, when you've got the answer right or when you get to, I don't know, you beat the other person, it's just like, hell yeah. So I love mind kind of thinky games. Um, so yeah. Now, finally, something that is not tangible is blogs. I've absolutely loved reading people's blogs and I never thought I'd be a blog reader ever, 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 but I really do love it. And my favourite is the Anna Edit. She is my favourite YouTuber and she's also my favourite blogger because every single video and every single blog post she uploads is about being productive, it's about getting things done, sorting your wardrobe out, sorting your workspace out, organising your life. And I love it because it makes me so motivated, it makes me want to be productive, and it makes me feel like once I've read that five minute blog post, I'm getting upstairs and I am sorting out my makeup or I'm sorting out my capsule wardrobe, that kind of thing. So I would highly recommend it and I will link her blog down below and yeah so you can go and check her out. So that is everything for my favourites this month. I hope I haven't missed anything out. I am sorry that I won't be posting in the next week, but I will be back with a good old vlog for you. So stay tuned and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.